From the crystal desert sands of Solaria, to the base of a misty waterfall in Lunaria, and even further to the shattered and frozen mountains of Contrita, each hill was piled and each valley dug by the spirits. Each sky vaulted and each ocean filled. Cosmima always had a fascination with the complexity of the universe, forever in awe of the artist, as were many others. Yet she finds herself isolated in a small forest at the very edge of it all. Hello, dudes, dudettes, and Doritos, and welcome to the February Adopt. I'm really proud of how she turned out, and I'm going to have a difficult time letting her go. So whoever gets her is really lucky. How I usually set up these adopts is giving you a question to blindly guess, but I don't have many good questions and the system isn't very fun. So we're doing it a bit differently this time around. We'll see how this works out. How this is going to work is we're going to play a game. This game is called Green Glass Door. Some of you may have heard of it. Let's play a quick example round. So, we are walking through a mall, I know, very fancy, and all of a sudden we pass by a store, but this store stands out. It has a huge green glass door. We want to go inside, but only very specific things can go through this mysterious door. For example, I can bring a tree, but not a leaf. I can bring a cowboy, but not a cow. I can bring a kitty, but not a cat. So what is the rule? I can only bring items that have repeating letters. A tree is two E's, but a leaf has no repeating letters. So I could bring a letter, but not a word. That is how this will work. Of course, it will be different than the example. But how do you play? Great question. I'll make up a new scenario after explaining the rules. This scenario will also be in the pinned comment, just in case. Each day, I will add something you can bring and something you can't. You can guess the rule by responding to the pinned comment. To get extra hints, you can comment asking if you can bring something. For example, ask, can I bring a dragon? And I will say either yes or no. You do not ask under the pinned comment, but it is only for guessing the rule. Whoever guesses the rule correctly first wins and gets to have Cosmima as their own. So let's get to the scenario. Cosmima lives a humble life within the cooler regions of Solaria. Of course, not nearly as chilly as the moons, but the forest she abides in occasionally invites a friendly flurry of snow. Cosmima is surrounded by a quaint community. Dragons that live this far north of the city usually come for peace and quiet. Cosmima moved here with her grandmother as her parents were captured by the anarchy and went missing. She had never known her parents as she was very young when she moved, so her grandmother ended up making up for both of those roles. Our story unfolds shortly after Cosmima's grandmother passes away in Onyx blood. She had never been overcome by such grief. She spiraled and was swallowed into a gray abyss. There was nothing she could say. The tears in her eyes seemed forced. She was supposed to cry, she was supposed to feel sad, yet she felt nothing but empty. Cosmima found peace, however, as she wandered into the forest. Not many dragons lived here, so she had time to herself, giving her the opportunity to evaluate what she should do next. Cosmima often carried flowers with her on her journey. Her grandmother loved exotic plants. Cosmila found peace with the distant mountains and the brisk landscape surrounding. With that and the flowers came an idea. She would lay flowers and patterns and images around the trail. The images would usually lay in clearings, cliff edges, and peaks of hills. The images would depict the landscape surrounding. As Cosmila replicated the world in these bouquets, she uncovered tiny details and small fragments of artistic flair polished within the natural landscape. As she made her art, she felt more connected to the spirits as if somehow replicating their art brought her closer to them. She would also make sure plants did not wither, and if they did, she would plant new ones. She always wanted the radiance to remain. She hiked higher and higher up the mountains, always looking for a new place to explore. One evening, she stumbled across a cave. Of course, she couldn't resist venturing further, so despite the rising dusk, Cosmima trotted into the cavern. Shallow, yet deep enough to be dark, even with direct light from the sunset, Cosmima swiftly lit a branch on fire, setting it on the cold stone floor. Now, with each wall illuminated, she was taken aback by the scrolling letters stretched across the cavern walls. She traces her talons across the patterns and images. The story was one with which she was well familiar, the story of Somnia, a mystic land the spirits used as a sanctuary for the moths. These moths made their most famous appearance during the resolution of the war. The story says, the spirit set down mystic healers from a mystic land. The moths healed the wounded and cried upon the dead, carrying their souls past the veil of life into death. Where those lines ended, the rock face made a gentle turn into a tight crawl space, unnoticed until now. Cosmila picked up her torch and rolled it into the opening before squeezing herself in as well. The area was even smaller than the first cave, but the carvings on the walls lead to a door. She walked over to the door, her light danced upon its jade surface, and as she touched it, it sparkled in emerald green. 
only very specific things can go through this door. It follows a rule. It is your job to discover that rule. Here are three examples of what can and cannot go through. One, a plucked flower can go through. A plotted flower cannot. Two, Cosmima can, her torch cannot. And three, a wound can, a bandage cannot. I will say it is not grammar related. I don't know how fast it will be guessed, so we will find out. If you have any questions on how this will work, feel free to ask. I do also hope to start uploading more frequently again, school has just been a headache. Anyways, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day, and I hope to see you again very, very soon.